you know, late summer, there's some nice dishes. Again, I, I don't like to be in the kitchen. It's hot. I don't want to turn on the ovens. So I'm trying to look at something that's nice and refreshing and crisp. Uh, you might be getting a lot of cucumbers out of the garden right now. You're like, uh, no more Greek salads. Uh, I don't know what else to do, you know. So I love this. It's a very typical uh, Japanese dish. It's a cold uh, soba noodle pasta dish. What I'm going to do is actually I'm going to make the dressing so, we'll, cause, so we can let that sit. So this is uh, as much as you like. Again, if you have children, this is some hot, uh, hot yeah, hot chili oil. So I just like to add a little. There's some uh, uh, rice wine vinegar. If you don't have rice wine vinegar, you know, the thing about Asian is sometimes you're like, oh, I love to cook Asian, but then I buy this whole bottle and I have one thing of it. So I love Asian cooking, so it never goes to waste, but I understand. So if you don't like rice wine vinegar, just get some white wine vinegar that you'll use probably more often than once. Some basic peanut butter, some soy sauce, a little sesame oil, some minced ginger, great flavor, a little sugar. We're going to try to get it to a nice consistency of a dressing. And sometimes what happens, what you need when, you, when you're doing that at that consistency is you need a little hot pasta water. So whatever in the, the water that you used for pastas, I always save like about a half cup to a cup in whatever dish. Because if you're making a sauce and it's, you know, and it's reducing, it's getting a little too thick, well then you add that pasta water, which is, already has a little salt, a little of that flavor of the pasta, a little of that starch, and it kind of helps thin it out. It kind of helps bring it back. And it's um, a nice binding agent. Yeah, it's a nice binding agent. So, see, so you can see this is a little thick to be mixing. So, we're going to use where did that water go? Perfect. And I might need some more, but we'll add a little at a time. I'll add a little pepper. I don't need salt. Why? Because the peanut butter has salt, sure. the soy sauce has salt. Uh, so, you're not going to overpower, but I taste it and it sounds, tastes good. I love black pepper on everything. And that's just that nice consistency of a dressing that you want. What we're going to do is we're going to take these cucumbers. I'm going to peel them. So what I usually do is I just usually take the spoon and take that right out. And then what we do is I try to make it about a mouth size and then nice thin strips. You could run this through a box grater too if you wanted. So we did some soba noodles. Buckwheat soba. Buckwheat soba. How long did it take? Three minutes. Three tops. minutes. They're super thin. So you just, you know, you, all you need to do is just take them out and then put them in ice cold bath water as quick as possible. You want these noodles to be super, super quick. This is a nice cold dish. We'll add the cucumbers to that. We'll toss it around. I like to use the tongs, that way I can separate the noodles. Nicely dressed, all the noodles have some dressing on it. Then again, we just like to finish off with a nice garnish. Here, I'm going to go green here. Angled cut gives a nice presentation. A nice different look, right? You could go up and down. That would be fine. But why not just turn it 45 degrees and give a, the ooh and ah factor, right? Definitely. Then for nice, again, the ooh and ah factor. In Chinese, uh, I mean Japanese restaurants, they will serve it on a bed of crushed ice or some ice, and that way it stays cold. It goes off cold, and you you know you have that. Oh, that's a nice, delicious Beautiful. flavor. So, cold chilled soba noodles with a peanut sauce and green onions and cucumbers. You can find this recipe and all others on our website. I'm Chef Jorge De La Torre. Let's dig in.